If you stop 10 people on the street, probably seven of them would say they're middle class. But the new reality in America is that even though a lot of us think we're middle class, most of us aren't. I'm Kai Rizdal, and this is how the deck is stacked. One way that economists like to think about the middle class is in terms of household size and household income. Let's see if you can spot where you fall. If you're single, you'd have to make between $24,000 and $73,000 a year to be considered middle class. For a couple, it's $34,000 a year to about $103,000. And for a family of four, it's $48,000 to about $145,000 a year. One reason a lot of us think we're middle class is because most of us used to be. In 1971, 70% of Americans were defined as middle class. Today, just half of us are. That's a big drop. Some of those people moved up. Some people moved down. It's a fair question to ask why a shrinking middle class matters. And the answer has a lot to do with the way the economy works. In the United States, more than two thirds of all of our economic activity is driven by people buying stuff. Consumption is the word that economists like to use. And the middle class has traditionally done most of that consuming, most of that buying. The rich tend to invest their money. The poor are just trying to get by. So we all need the purchasing power that the middle class has to drive overall economic growth. There is one more reason that a shrinking middle class matters. And it has to do with what we all think it means to be Americans. This is an aspirational economy. We all want to be able to buy a house if we want to. We want to be able to buy food and gas and groceries and things without having to think about it. We all want to leave our kids better off than we are. But with a shrinking middle class, there are fewer people who are able to do that. We want to know what you think about all this. What does it mean to you to live a middle class life? Are you living a middle class life? Let us know in the comments.